What's going on everybody? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash the thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell down below to get notified when I post another video. Whole video time. Let's go. All right, here we go. I actually have a couple items over here. I'm going to grab them real quick. All right, so we did go to this one yard sale, and um, it was an older gentleman. He was retired, and he had a bunch of stuff. He wanted 25 for this. This is a town. I believe this is made by town and country. But anytime I see these raincoats like this that kind of look like Burberry, they always do very well. This is in really good condition, and this is a size 50. So he wanted 25 for that, and then he wanted like 10 or 15 a piece. He wanted 15 for the Masters Blazers, like not Masters, but that's what I usually put in the title because that's pretty much what they are, green, gold button, whatever. But anyway, um, I talked him down to 20 bucks for both of them. So I paid 10 a piece, a little more than I'm, than I'm usually comfortable paying. I usually only pay about five for these and somewhere around 10 for these. So a little bit over, but this is in such great condition and these are big sizes so they're gonna sell really fast and I'll get my my ROI my return on investment really quick so we'll get them listed soon um, it's Thursday tomorrow's Friday there's gonna be yard sales so I gotta kinda get ready for that but there's a couple things that I didn't bring with me we kinda brought them to the shop so I'm just gonna go through what I did pick up um, first and foremost we're gonna go through the hats um, actually not first, but um, anytime I see these these pictures, these are called carnival mirrors, carnival glass, whatever, carnival picture. Um, this one I don't think is vintage. I think this is just like a, a recent one or whatever, but it's pretty cool. Um, I might just give this to my granddaughter. I don't know. I think it was a dollar. It might even have been a quarter. I think it was a quarter. So it was really cheap. So we did go to, I think we went to like four yard sales today, like four or five. Wasn't wasn't super super good but it wasn't it wasn't that bad either so you know whatever but um the hats were um i think the hats were i think they were 50 cents a piece i think i spent a total of like not even 15 dollars at this yard sale so this one is colonial colonial williamsburg this one is what is this one on this one this one's made in usa too so that's a pretty good sign it is a texas a texas something like that this one is Long Beach Island. This one's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that that's probably New York. Um, this one is yada, yada, yada. One size fits all made in Bangladesh. So this is this is vintage, but I don't think it's super old. Maybe like 90s. So we have Hosses 91. These always do really well. I usually do pretty good with these. Um, the older, the better, the faster they sell. This one is brand new, and it is all it's all foam. The whole entire hat is made of foam. So this is made by Capital. I think these are made in USA too. No, this is Philippines. So then we have Branson, Missouri. This is probably not going to do very well on this hat, but it is on a Moore's hat made in Bangladesh. So, you know, whatever. They were all, the, the hats were really cheap, and I was kind of picking what was left of them because I think that they had already got hit up. I think they had the sale the day before. Then we have Vermont. These are like ten, fifteen dollar hats. These are nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, this one's cool. This one has a bunch of stains on it. I didn't see that, or I probably would have left it. Made in China, Hawaii. I'm probably gonna toss that one, even though it is pretty cool. I could probably try to clean it. And then we have this really cool Hawaii. That's really, really dope. This is just the kind of stuff you get when you go on vacation. You just get like a hat um, while you're there. This is one size fits all. It's Hawaiian headwear, Hawaii made in China. But um, it's just this one has really good colors. There was another one, but it was in really bad shape, so I had to leave it. 
Um, I think I'm going to start doing that from now on since I have so many hats. They do sell. I sell hats all the time. Like every single day I probably sell a hat. So um, I make sure that I pick them up when I can get them really cheap. The colors on this one are really dope. So it was definitely worth it. This one I'm probably just going to get rid of. Maybe I could put this in with the bundle, but it might... It might kind of steer away people from the other hat, so I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we did pick up some glasses and some things that I got really cheap, and um, I think that they're kind of cool. I think they'll do well, so we'll see. And then this was, there was some new things. There was, that whenever I go to a sale and I see clothing on the table and it's like a quarter a piece, I just can't resist a lot of times, even if it's not a great brand. So these are Walter Hogan. Even if these sit until next year, it doesn't matter. These are golf shorts. These are these are size 32. They're going to be too small for anybody in my house. These are just golf shorts. These are just like 10 or $15, maybe maybe 20 bucks. They are in pretty good condition. These, I think I'm going to give these to my daughter. I think these are Adidas. These are just like, you know what I mean? They're just, I think they're a small or an extra small. So I think they'll fit my daughter. These are, they always have the date on the Adidas. Most of the time you'll see that date right there. It'll be right next to the tag. Um, these are 2008. So these aren't super, you know, these aren't super old. Um, these are Climacool. So we'll see. I'll probably give them to my daughter because she's just a little itty bitty thing. Then these were brand new. Of course, I had to grab these. These are, these are Gap. I think these are women's. They might even be like a junior. A lot of the stuff was small. So these are a one, but I don't think that my daughter would wear these. I don't think that this is her style. These are like camping, hiking type of deal. So um, anything that's an uneven size is obviously going to be a junior. So these are a junior size. I'm going to throw them over there. Then these I have to do some research. Let me do the research on these and I'll get right back at you. It's called Overcome Average. She said that he was played a lot of softball. So I think that these are softball jerseys. So I'm going to look them up. All right, guys. So the only thing that I'm seeing for this brand is a vintage um, brand. And this is obviously like some, some stretch dry fit wear. This is obviously, this is in vintage. There's another one also. It is right here. Here's the other one. It just says above average on it. I think I can sell these together, and I think that these are brand new. So we'll see. Maybe somebody will buy them for like 20 bucks. So I paid like hardly anything for them. Then we got these. Um, the only reason I grabbed these is because they are destroyed. Whenever you see that distressed right there, distressed, destroyed, whatever. These are just Air Apostle. I think they're a 30. There are 33, so I don't think that I don't think that they're gonna fit me, but they're in really good condition. And like I said, everything was like 50 cents. It was just really cheap, so I couldn't resist on on that. And then this was there. It has a ribbon on it. It says Think Pink. So that's obviously that's breast cancer. We're gonna go ahead and take that off now while we're while we're here. And you know, fortunately, I don't know anybody that has, you know, breast cancer, so I can't have nobody to give it to. But it was on this sweater, and this is a vintage Gap sweater. Look at that old tag. It's got an old tag on it. I think it says, it's made in USA. It's made in northeastern USA of imported fabric. So it's a cotton blend, but... I think that this is old, so it's just an old, it's kind of cropped a little bit, if you guys can see that, but it wasn't, it wasn't that much, so I was like, you know what, and it doesn't have any stains on it, which is another good thing. Oh, it has some distress at the bottom on the hems too, which is really cool. I just noticed that right now. That's really cool, like stressed, distressed cuffs and bottoms, so that's pretty cool. It's already got the wear on it. Then these were brand new. These are called Piper Blue. I think that these are vintage. I think all of the clothing that was there were um, probably the ladies, her daughters or something. These are from Kmart, so these are not super expensive. They might fit my daughter. And this might fit my daughter too, but this is a Nike Live Strong women's jersey, but I don't think she would wear yellow. It's an extra small. It would, it would probably fit her, but I don't think she would wear that. I don't think that's her style. And then Hudson, if you guys ever see Hudson, you'll usually see the British flag on the back. 
which is a wonder that they didn't cut the, that you're even allowed to sell these anymore because it has that flag on the back. But um, that's a whole other story that I won't get into because I choose not to. But um, anyway, these are Hudson. You'll notice that they have the flat pockets. I think that these are actual, actual shorts. They're not cutoffs. Yeah, these are actual hemmed and made. These are shorts. There's ways to tell. I don't think that these are faked. You know, if they are, I don't think they'd be faked very much. But there's the tag. There's the size. These are what, 27. So. I'm pretty sure these are authentic, but there you go. I should get at least $20 for them. Then there was more shorts. We have, these are Old Navy. There was a lot of shorts there, but I was kind of being picky. Let's have the double button. Double button in the front, and then you can button them again. Button them again on the inside to keep them. So just some booty shorts. I have tons of them too, and it's like, are they really selling? I don't know. But I kind of went crazy with the booty shorts. But they do sell. They they don't sell very often, but certain ones I think probably sell better. Like I said, there's a lot of things that I need to just stop buying, but I mean as long as I put the work in and I list it and it's up, it's gonna sell eventually, you know. Everything always does. Every time I take something down, it sells and then I don't have it. I'm like, oh my god, I took it down and got rid of it and I for or I forgot to take it down and got rid of it, and then it ends up selling. So it's kind of like, you know what? Pain in the butt. I think that these were already part of another buy. These are J brands. Not a great brand to pick up, but these are really small sizes. This was part of another bulk buy that I bought off this one lady that was kind of don't know if she was going out of business. I don't know what her I don't know what her deal was, but it is what it is. Alright, so this was this was like a dollar or two, dollar or fifty cents. We got this old Woolrich. This is a pullover. It does have a little bit of a little bit of issue on it, but it is pretty cool. It's got the Woolrich on the sleeve. This is just like a fleece. This is kind of like a uh, what are they called? The North Face ones called? I can't remember. Denali or whatever. It's kind of like a North Face Denali. So. You know, whatever. We'll see. It's not in the best condition. And then I seen these. I was like, okay, we're grabbing these. These are size two. Eyes odd. Look at the price on them. They were fifty-six dollars. This is like the kind of stuff you get out of like TJ Maxx or well, not TJ Maxx, but um, uh, Macy's or J.C. Penney or something like that. Whatever. I don't think they sell Eyes odd in Walmart. So these are just. Golf shorts, but they're brand new. They still have the tags, so we should do okay with them. Red's a cool color. I think red's better than yellow, right? We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully tomorrow's a lot better. Today was just kind of mediocre. There really wasn't much. There wasn't much to get. Yeah, those butterfly bags are definitely better than these. So this one sale we went to, this late, this um, they had a bunch of old towels. So I was like, okay. So I started seeing all these crazy looking towels. Um, this one's Schlitz. This is cool. That one's really cool, and they're in good shape. They're not really in bad condition. They're not new, I don't think, but I don't see any stains on them. But this one's really cool. The Schlitz one. That one's dope. That one's cool. So obviously Schlitz is a beer. If you guys don't know. All right. So there's the price. This is how much we paid for them. 50 cents. I wasn't going to pass that up, but mm, did that? It might be. It's not rotted, is it? They covered the hole up. Look, they like covered a hole up. But yeah, I don't. They're not ripping. Sometimes you got to check that old fabric. Make sure it's not, it's not going to tear. All right, and then we have the King of B. Uh, this one's Dare. Yeah, see, that one wasn't covering nothing up. It's kind of weird. All right, so this one is Dare. This one's definitely old. This one's cool. I'll probably get like 30 bucks for that. I'm maybe 25. But I think that it'd be nice if there would be a year on it. It's got a little bit of stainage right on there. Nothing bad. A little makeup. A little. I hope it's makeup. Okay. Now, 
There's no tag on this one. The other ones they have, they have like the same tags on them. They're not made in USA. So yeah, the other towels I don't have. Well, can't win them all. They were I actually brought them into the shop by accident. So whatever. Let's see what else we got here. We got all right. So I picked up these Heelys. They were like next to nothing. These might actually fit my granddaughter. Maybe. I have to ask, what size are these? But I don't think that these are old. So what is that at the bottom of the shoe? Oh, that's is that the key? I've never seen I've never seen that with them. So well, at least it has that. So they're I just thought they were really cool. They have a really cool design, like an iridescent type of deal. But I don't. The other pair that I have, they're like new, and um, they're not selling. These I actually have to clean up a little bit, but not much. Just a little bit. They'll look really good when I clean them up. And then, these, I think these are vintage. These are only $15. No, these are, these are over, what are they called? Lower East Side. I think that these are vintage. Anything made by Lower East Side, I think is vintage. Um, some of these sell for a lot of money. I think I sold a pair for $70. Um, I'm going to have to look them up. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put it right there and I'll show you. And if the other one is there, it'll be over here. Because I, I don't know if I sold both pairs or not. I think I have a black pair. But they have like wooden. I can't believe these were only $15. When they first. Look at that. They were only 15 bucks. But like I said, I think that these are vintage. I think they dug these out somewhere. And it's cool because they're jelly and they're wood also. But 15 bucks. Hmm. We'll see. I'll have to look them up. And this. Oh. Oh. There it goes. This baseball, I think these are, I think that this is not, I don't know, guys. I mean, it could be an autograph ball. They could be real autographs. Maybe I'll just have somebody look at it. Um, there's a sports guy at my, um, I don't know if he's any good with that. The only autograph that I noticed on here was, was Murray. Where's it at? Eddie Murray, right there. I know he played for the Mets, and I think that she said, what team did she say? I don't remember. I don't remember if it was Phillies or, <sighs> but there's a lot. There's a lot of autographs on here. Like, I just don't recognize any of them. There's Lee, Lee Lacey. There's Lee, Lee Lacey. I'm going to have to make sure I turn the camera around. I always forget to do that, guys. I'm really sorry. If I forget again, it's because I just get so busy. Um, I noticed that I seen a YouTuber, um, what she's doing is she's paying somebody to do her videos because she doesn't have any time to do them anymore. Like it's like people don't understand. It's, it's pretty time consuming. All right. So we got some tapes last but not least. This is all that is left. I don't think there was anything left that I brought in except for them coats. I showed you the coats. All right. So we have, I didn't look any of these up. I don't know what they're worth. There's ugly kid, Joe America's least least wanted so there's that one make sure that they're in there this one is that was it i think they're all in there all in really good shape too then there's kiss revenge i don't know what this one is worth hopefully there's a rare one in here guys sometimes you'll find these tapes and you'll, you'll find a really good one a really rare one then there's spinal tap break like the wind they're like a, a comedy isn't the one guy isn't he I thought he was an actor. I thought the one guy was an actor. He looks like this. Uh, he looks like an actor that I, I don't know. Then we have Wayne's World. Wayne's World party time. Excellent. Then we have Red Hot Chili Peppers. What's what hits? I think that some of these are good albums, guys. So, when, like I said, I'm gonna look them up. I know this one's not worth much. This full, full moon fever. Pretty cool. It's a shame he passed away. Then we have Doors in Concert. This one might actually be worth. Hopefully this isn't like a two cassette deal where it's only just the one. And the cassettes, the condition of the cassettes is really good. Like they weren't, they weren't really played that much. You know, if they were, believe me, they would be all worn out. But that's pretty cool. Jim Morrison and the Doors. Then there's The Wall Part 2, live in Berlin, Roger Waters. Unfortunately, this is part of a two cassette, Roger Waters. I don't know if he's part of um, Pink Floyd, but 
it's a possibility. I'll have to look. And these are old too, because they don't even have the they don't even have the what you call it live in excess. Live, baby, live. So that one's probably not worth much. It is what it is. We're talking five dollars. She wanted fifty cents a piece. She gave them all to me for two dollars, so it would have been one, two, three, four. It would have been five. I got them all for two. Then there's Slaughter, the wildlife. I wonder if this has my songs on it. I love Slaughter. I love um. Reach for the sky. Move to the mute. What is it? Streets of Broken Heart. Hold on. Days Gone By. Wildlife. Out for Love. Yeah, I don't think this is in an album that I know a lot of songs off of. I like, um. Fly to the Angels. I like I like that album that has the angel the fly to the angels or something like that. I can't remember. You know, I can't sing. But anyway, guys, I'm like Bill Collins. I can dance. All right, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that thumbs up button. Hit the notification bell down below to get notified when I post another video. Peace out.